Hello, welcome to you, Delighted Owl Pottery. I'm Annie, and uh, let's uh, get this kiln open. Let's not waste any time. I am always excited, so let's, uh, <laughs> let's, oh wow, <laughs> let's see what we have today. Okay, let me show you the thing that, okay. <laughs> so, let's start with this little guy, because he made me chuckle. Um, this is a Scrofito plate. <laughs> So, I don't know if you can see that very well. I tried um, a new mason stain. It's called Lobster. And I wasn't exactly sure what color it was going to come out as. These are cone flowers. Um, and along the rim, I did a smoky Merlot. I don't really know if those two colors go together. Um, I wasn't sure how this lobster color uh, was going to turn out. But it's kind of a bright pink. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to need to give this a little look. But anyway, these graffito plates are always so fun to make. So, okay, that was a surprise. All right. <laughs> okay, and then we've got some, come here. Okay, we've got some succulent, uh, little succulent mug planters. And this is, I haven't used this combo for a while, but it's kind of one of my favorites. Um, here on uh, the body of the mug, we have uh, Mako's Blue Hydrangea. And then down here on the bottom, on the handle, and down inside, we have a Mako Eggplant, uh, three coats, and then one coat of the Blue Hydrangea, so you get all those fun little speckles on there. Cool. You're tuned out, turned out really cute. I just bought some more succulents um, just the other day so I can plant some of these very cute. Okay, I have four of them, so let's take a look at this one. All right, here we go. This one is uh, Amico. Um, I put uh, Deep Sea wiped away, and then we have Deep Sea moving up to jade green. So it's kind of green and blue. Cool. Look at how that texture on there just pops. And then on the inside, it's just jade. Cool. Very happy with how that texture looks. Nice. All right, and here's another one of these little planters. Okay, this is another combo that I like. This is, um, uh, Mako Speckled Plum, I put it all over the body and wiped it away. And then I put uh, Amico Tangelo and then the Speckled Plum on the inside and some little drippies running down. Oh, that turned out really sweet. Very cool. Happy with you. Okay. And now we got some mugs. We got one of these other little butterfly mugs. These are some of my new favorite um, mugs to make. Uh, Amico Deep Sea, I wiped away and then put uh, Amico Aqua and Amico Tourmaline on the inside, the rim, and the handle. Cute. Okay, and come here, little guy. Ooh, oh yeah, okay. Here we got a tripod mug. This is a uh, Mako Aurora Green. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I uh, just did two coats. I've been playing around with whether two or three coats are better with this glaze. And I think for the most part, these two coats look good. And then I did put three on the inside. Cool. I liked how that turned out. All right, and we got another tripod mug here on top. This is a little wave, little wave runner, little wave. This is Mako's um, Stone Denim, two coats, and then one coat of Mako's uh, Sand and Sea. Nice, cool. I liked how that turned out. Kind of a nice, um, this is on um, Georgie's um, G-Mix light colored clay. And uh, yeah, I like how that Stone Denim, nice and kind of a light blue, and then you've got kind of those brown accents. Very cool. All right, that's our first level. We are going to go on them. I'm going to set these over here. Okay, what do we have down here? Okay, let me get rid of both of those. Hey there. Hey there. Okay. 
All right. Yeah, that's it's coming there, little guy. <laughs> Ooh, oh, you turned out nice. Okay, this is a little pumpkin dish. Uh, fall is coming, so I made some uh, pumpkin stuff. Um, not really fall colors, but oh, this is um, Mako's Norse Blue up to Mako's Lavender Mist. Ah, oh, cool. I like those two together. This turned out really sweet. Cool. Put you over there. And let's see. We've got, this is just uh, another one of those butterfly mugs. Nice. And we've got uh, the fourth little uh, mug or teacup planter. This is um, deep sea wiped away with um, aqua and then uh, tourmaline. That turned out really sweet. <laughs> I like it. It's a little bit shorter than the other guys. It looked really cute with a little, some kind of a little plant in there. Nice. Okay, and then we've got um, another little Scraffito stone um, Scraffito cone flower. Nice. And this is with a tourmaline on the outside. Very cute. This one turned out nice. I like you. Okay, put you right there. All righty, we are knocking these levels down. Get my kiln posts. Put you over there. Put you over there. All right, what do we got down below? Down below, let's see, come on. Okay. <laughs> okay, come here, come on here. Okay, this is another little, this is just a little mini pumpkin on the chocolate clay. This is um, Mako's uh, Sand and Sea. Look at how cute that is. I like that little acorn. He's got a little acorn on it and some leaves. Cool. That turned out really cute. And, okay, come here. Come here. Oh, so I tried a new texture. Um, this was like an old uh, kind of doily that I got in at a thrift shop. And I did red iron oxide that I wiped away. And then Amoco Jade Celadon with a little bit of Amoco Seaweed on the rim. Cool. Man, that, uh, look at how that texture just pops. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out because that texture is pretty delicate, but pretty cool. Nice little green little dish. We just got a couple of little pendants. Um, this is just a little heart and um, a little hummingbird. This is a Laguna's Brilliant Sunbird. Just kind of these, just kind of like a real light pink with a little bit of uh, white in the texture. And this one is a Lavender Mist. Okay, cool. I don't love this one, but... Um, Actually, it ain't too bad. It ain't too bad. Okay, we got one more thing. Okay. All right. And if you watched my videos, you've probably seen this before. I did another one of these owl stencil um, plates. This is with, um, this is a, a teal um, mason stain slip uh, with uh, Amoco Aqua and Tourmaline. Cool. I'm going to make myself a whole little set of these. Very nice. All righty. Well, the kiln is empty. Some of these pieces uh, might be up in my Etsy shop. So uh, click on the link below if you're interested. But thanks for watching. Have a great day.